snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Posh. Hello. How you doing, baby? Good. Now, what is posh? What does that mean? Look. It means elegance. Elegance. Yeah. And where you from, baby? I'm from Guyana. Guyana. Yeah, I reside in PA. And okay, in Philly. Mm -hmm. All right. So you kind of rough. Yeah. Rough around the edges. Mm -hmm. You don't take no shit. Mm -mm. And you a dancer, right? Yes. What an entertainer. We... An entertainer. Yes. Okay. Now, what, what's the difference between a dancer, an entertainer, and an exotic dancer? Well, I mean, well, entertainer loves what they do. Okay. A dancer does it because she has to do it. Ah. Yeah. Now, what makes your show so unique from other people's show? I'm just different. Mm, bottom and, line. Yeah, and I and I dance with reptiles. So. Reptiles. Yeah, well, who is so our friend right here? This is Sasha. Sasha. Yes. How long have you had Sasha? And how old is Sasha? Sasha, for ten years. Ten years. Yeah. Y'all been friends that long? Yeah, and I breed them. I have more. Oh, you got a boyfriend or something? Are they, are they intimidated by the, uh, the snakes? Uh, well, I'm single now, but... What kind of guys are you into? I like I like men who handle their business. Long what that mean? Because I be handling my business. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I love like to handle ambition. You. I'm very yes. ambitious. You no, can ask Frank. No scrubs. My dad always told me no scrubs. No scrubs. I got a car. I can't drive. <laughs> my license is suspended. Does that make me a scrub? <laughs> No. <laughs> no, as long as I got one, right? Okay, cool, cool, cool. And what else you need? Hmm. What else do you need? What you you liking the guy? What what I got to have going on to get with you? Well, you have to believe in God. So, oh, you know? I got that. I was praying this morning. You just have to be real with yourself and not living in a delusional world. Hey, you just can't say you're real. It's something you gotta be. <laughs> <laughs> and people know me for that. <laughs> well, we, we, we're sounding more and more compatible all day. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, are you willing to like travel back and forth and see me all the time? Well, I travel to New York a lot. Oh, you so, a lot? Yeah. About how often a week? Well, about twice a week. That's yeah. good enough for me. Mm -hmm. I want to see you twice a week from here on out, all right? <laughs> so when you stop and do what you do, come stop and see me. <laughs> and let's go get us a slice of pizza. You eat pizza still or are you on a strict diet? I eat pizza. You do? I eat pretty much whatever I want. Okay, and that's how you keep this gorgeous figure? Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. Now, what would you say is the best part of your body? What's your favorite part of your body? My best asset? Yeah. My face. Your face is amazing. <laughs> if I was a girl, that's how I want to look. <laughs> word, word. Yeah, um, yeah, I don't, I don't use uh, my ass to get everything. I use my brain, my face. Yeah? Where, what do you and want? And my talent. What, what do you want? What can I, what can I, what can I give you? I'm on an entrepreneurial path. So, mm. yeah. Okay, you're on an entrepreneurial path, meaning what, what are you selling? <laughs> well, I make wigs. You make wigs? Yeah, I, um, I also have a fetish website coming soon. <laughs> are you a dominatrix? Yes. Get out of here. I also do work in that field too. I have a, what is, a fetish website coming out soon. You you a stone cold freak, huh? <laughs> so I just oh no, S and M. That's when people be getting tied up. She doesn't like nobody calling me names. What I ain't said. She just hits at you. Oh yeah, is, is she um upset right now? Cause she looking dead at me. Don't call me names. Don't okay. I'm, I'm gonna call you. Posh. She is my bodyguard. Go okay, cool, cool. I apologize yeah. about that. Mm. What what do you do? You you, you I handcuff? deal strictly with humiliation bondage. Humiliation bondage. Yeah. So you, it's people that, that pay you to embarrass them? Yes. Like, okay, well, what's one of the most embarrassing things you've ever did to a gal before? Well, what do you consider the most embarrassing thing? Like, well, you just give me one situation. I yeah. guess I um, shoved dildos down their throat and the whole crowd tied them up. So hold on, tell me, it was a man let you do that? Yeah. Let's relax for a second. Let's just, let's just stop. Ugh, wait, you, you carry that around with you? Ugh, stop. When's the last time you pure out that thing? Now, do you do all this stuff inside your regular sex life? No, I, I don't want a man I can 
beat. I was I was gonna talk to you about that because I want to be with you, but I don't want none of that shit that you do to them. I don't I, want a man I can beat. Then you just be weak to me. Nah, I ain't nowhere near that. Cause I didn't want none of that shit. Weak, that, I don't like weak men. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm strong. I be working out the gym, <laughs> gym gang every day. You know. If you're strong, then I bow down. You about that? Mm -hmm. Okay, and see, that's what I need. I need a woman that's gonna be submissive to me and do what I say. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna really be telling you too much to do in front of the snake, but you know, when that snake leave, mm -hmm. I'm gonna be on your ass. Do you have any celebrity crushes? Well, I don't really get excited. The only person I would have got excited over was Michael Jackson, and he's dead. I am the biggest Michael Jackson <laughs> fan ever. Yeah. Really? I got Michael Jackson tattoo right here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I got a Michael Jackson tattoo. I, I really didn't see that. Yeah, I'm, so we got a lot in common. This is crazy. Okay. I go nuts over Michael Jackson. Yeah, he, um, that's where I learned my style from. Get out of here. Growing up. That's where I got my swag from. Word. I can dig <laughs> that. Michael. Mm -hmm. This is one of my favorite pictures that I have inside of my phone. I want to show it to you. Boom. Oh. You see and that? And the same type of thing. Yes. Hmm. Get a picture of that, my friend. <laughs> I keep this in my phone, Frank, as a regular picture. Yeah, hey, so what did you meet Pasha? Pasha, I met her at, uh, where's Sin City, in the Bronx. Sin City, that's yeah. one of my favorite places to be on Earth, man. Well, too. It has one of the, the, some of the most exotic women in the world. Absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. Hey, hey, what, kind of, what kind of women are you into, uh, uh, Frank? Because you, 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 you're a world-renowned photographer yeah. and whatnot, and, and you've seen all different kind of women. Yeah. Yeah, what kind of women are you into? I like the exotic women. I like the exotic looking women, you know? Like pie. <laughs> there you go. What you know about her, man? Every time I see her, her aura is incredible. She's always smiling, no headaches, just real calm, and she's about her business. That's it, you know? Yo, Frank, man. Yo, is there anything that you want to tell the people, man, before we get up out of here? And is there anything you want to tell the people also, Posh, before we get out of here? Um, Thank you and enjoy. <laughs> uh, shout out to Posh. <laughs> shout out to Sid City. Shout out to Jack. Shout out to to Straight Stunt, my, my my magazine that I shoot for. Shout out to uh, William Young, my artist, and uh, that's it. Thank you for the opportunity. Until next time, you have something in my eye. Don't kiss the hose in the mouth unless you got to. Pow.